Well, plans are coming to fruition in Starkville, although there could be some disruptions. City leaders are optimistic the final results will grow the town's potential. Our Charity Johnson tells us more about what should be expected. What started as a small project morphed into a game changer. Well, it's the largest project we've ever done. It's the largest funding uh, that we've ever received from the federal and, and state. We've gotten from both and we've put our own money into it too. Now that the money is in place, Starkfield is ready to roll with a new look. So at its core, it's replacing all drainage, water, sewer, and then all of the electrical comes underground. So as you look down the corridor, uh, the, the view shed, as we call it, really cleans up. Before that work can happen, there will be a few growing pains as work is scheduled to begin next week. There will be traffic disruptions, there will be lane closures, but we have a very robust traffic control plan to make it as navigable as, as possible. But the end, at the end of the day, we have to build a project and so some of those things come along with it. Revitalization construction will begin on the west end of 182 around Long Street and end in the east by Old Rest Point Road. The two-year project is revitalizing a key entrance into Starkville. City leaders believe visitors and business owners will benefit from the improvements. And I think it's very important that we look our best and provide those, those good feelings and good vibes for coming into the city as well as a place for uh, property owners and development to go. Telling your story in Starkville, Charity Johnson, WCBI News. And new sidewalks and bike lanes will be added once the building and utility work is complete.